Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 24th of April and we are seeing the energy I was shown was lifting off the veil. You know, this is the energy moving on from the full moon in Scorpio. We're going to see what comes out quite literally like that. We have, we're looking at commitments. We're looking at being able to move on from something that has been really stuck, reevaluating plans around, yeah, the, the strength card, around some fears, like reevaluating some fears that have been holding you back here, being really brave and finding your courage to step into a commitment, to listen to those soul messages, to put behind you some of the fears that are coming up, to transition on from that, to step into fulfillment and to feel like you are in charge. You're the authority in your life. You're the one that is taking action, making these choices, making these decisions. And it's moving beyond a disempowered energy, a stuck energy towards a place of fulfillment and finding peace. So it really feels like there, it feels like a big kind of shift, but it does require this sense of courage, the, the courage to commit to putting some of your fears aside or facing your fears in some way, seeing them for what they are. And that in itself could be a, a very fulfilling process. So they keep bringing me back to the fact that you are the king of wands here. This is the king of fire. It's the sense of being able to feel like you can take action, that you are you have some kind of mastery over the actions that you're taking and that you can feel passionate about the commitments and the path that you are choosing at this moment in time as opposed to feeling stuck and fearful and feeling like you can listen to those soul messages and that you are taking the right action, appropriate action. So it is really a sense that a lot of these fears have come up in that Scorpio full moon from the underworld and that's what we're seeing here with the devil but that was the lifting of the veil it may have been that you had to kind of something was revealed to you uh, a deeply held fear even something coming up from your subconscious and instead of engaging with the story of it and going okay this is something I'm I'm scared of or it has come up for me to look at it's understanding that this is something that you can move on from that this is an old story and that this doesn't have to be a fear that you can carry around with you now. So it's about letting it come up but not engaging with the feeling or the story. So therefore we need the sense of being strong, being resilient, being brave in the face of this. So, yeah, it is this process of resilience by facing your fears and, and seeing what that is that's come up for you, but being able to find the peace with it and move away from it. So that is the energy for the 24th. Let me just see if I'm getting anything else coming in with this. And what they're actually saying is it's taking a, a deep look at what is fulfilling you. And are you holding on to something that isn't fulfilling you? And why? Having the courage to look at that and say, why am I holding on to this? Maybe it's time to move on from it. So there is a, a sense that you're working with the higher order of things and that there are energies outside of you that are guiding you through some of these more challenging energies or fears that could be coming up or blocks that could be coming up with this Scorpio full moon. But they're coming up to be cleared out and not for us to re-engage with the story and 
that in itself is requiring courage, <laughs> I guess. Uh, they're saying there's a little bit of ego stuff that we need to kind of put to the side for whatever reason. There could be toxic people around. This could be really old energy things, toxic bits of conversations that people have said and done that have kind of got stuck or there could be someone around you at this moment that is invoking or a situation that invokes fear or is just a really negative presence inside your your mind, <laughs> inside your life, inside your mind, it's impacting your level of fulfillment. And it really is this hierophant energy is kind of saying, listen to your soul, listen to the soul messages that are coming out of this. The keys to understanding and to higher knowledge are here to understand why this energy is coming up, what role it has played in your life and what action you can take. So that is the reading for the 24th. Like I said, it feels like it stirred up some, some stuff. It definitely could stir up some stuff there in that shadow world, in the underworld. And it's just about working with that energy in, a, in the most positive way that you can. So that is the reading for the 24th. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments and take care.